which is near Zarethan. And the water below that horn flowed on to the deep to the Dead Sea until the river bed was dry. Then all the people crossed over near the town of Jericho. Meanwhile, the priests who were carrying the Ark of the Lord's Covenant stood on dry ground in the middle of the riverbed as the people passed by. They waited there until the whole nation of Israel had crossed the Jordan on dry ground.
Lord for bringing us our scripture this morning and Minister Lega for bringing us such a fervent prayer on today. This morning's scripture was shared with you from the Old Testament book of Joshua, the third chapter, verses 11 through 17. This morning I want to focus on the seventh part of that 13th verse. And once again, I will be sharing it with you from the New Living Translation. That 13th verse, the seventh part, it says, as soon as their feet touch the water, the flow of the water will be cut off upstream and the river will stand up like a wall. This morning, I would like to preach as a spiritual guide with the thought in our mind. Step into your miracle and watch Stepping into your miracle as you go through on your praise. As I was looking, I the Lord just gave me that revelation. Another revelation. Stepping into your miracle. As you go through on your praise. My brothers and sisters, life is a onward process. And which every morning that we rise up out of our bed, we pray, we talk to God, and we petition him to direct our path. Yes, yes. It is his, our desire that he order our footsteps. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But the adversary is busy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And this morning, you're going to have to learn how to praise your way through what you're going through if you want to arrive or get to your miracle. God, he has shaped, molded, and designed miracles especially for you. But when he placed those miracles before you, You can't stand there. You got to praise your way through them. Moses has died and his successor Joshua is leading his people. Joshua had rolled up early that morning after receiving words from God to tell and give his instruction to his people. Tell them how far to stand whenever the priest got up and moved. But it said, don't you move until the priest moves. See, sometimes we move before God moves. When God says stay still, we need to stay still. 
He said in the scripture, be still and know that I am God. The two spies have returned from Jericho and they have given a report to Joshua. Joshua instructs the people early that morning as I said to sanctify themselves because the next day the Lord would do great wonders among them. God's prophecy to Joshua then he prophesies to us. As he prophesies to Joshua, Joshua prophesies to his people. The children of Israel are standing in a familiar place because of their ancestors. They were there 40 years before them. Their parents stood in the very same place. How many of you know that somebody been through what you've been through before you even got here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. On the blink of a breakthrough, they had a breakdown. They had a faith failure. Somebody say faith failure. Faith. They forfeit their promise. They were still God's people. He cared for them. He sustained them 40 more years in the wilderness until all the doublers died out. They died destiny poor. One of the greatest tragedies in life is to live and never discover your destiny. But worse than that, it discover your death, destiny and then turn around and forfeit it. My brothers and sisters, there are people among us, even today, even looking in on us, that know they have a destiny over their lives. They know there is a reason and a purpose for their existence. Some of those people want everything that God has ordained for their life. They refuse to let it go. They refuse to give in. And they refuse to get up, give up. Now if you are one of those people that have fought to fight that fight in your spirit, never to give in and never to give up. That kind of fight that Caleb had, who at 85 years of age, or when he said, give me my mountain. In other words, that kind of fight that you won't be denied. Oh, I hope there's somebody in here today that's listening in that want what God has promised you. Someone who refused to sell the less than what God said you can have. Is there anybody in here that has made up their mind that whatever it costs you, you're, you're going to get it. Everything that God has promised you. I wish Someone in here was shout out this morning. Give me my mountain. Give me my mountain. Now, if you satisfy where you at, if you got what you want, if you see what you are looking for, doing what you want to do, and experience the thing that you want to experience. Stop by and let you know that this message is not for you. Are you still with me? But if it happened to be one of those rare breeds that's called a dreamer, if there's something on the inside of you that's kicking up, if that spirit of divine dissatisfaction is inside of you, Know that God got something for you, and the adversary is trying to keep you from getting to it. Then I'm talking to you, my brothers and sisters. I would be doing you a disservice if I didn't tell you that every promise in the Bible, every promise. Price. There is no victory. 
Because the things uh, that's evolving 
I'm going to take God uh, word of promise uh, and take that word uh, and I'm going to stand on it. Uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, I just came by to tell you uh, you're one step, uh, one step. Uh, somebody say one step uh, away from what you believe in for. Uh, Numbers 23 uh, and 19 tells us uh, God is not a man. Uh, he does not lie. Uh, he's not human. Uh, he does not change his mind. Uh, he has never spoken uh, an act to fail. Uh, he has. Uh, it has. Uh, he has uh, never promised something uh, that he had not carried through. Uh, when the priest uh, stepped up. Uh, Sin. 
everybody. Listen to this. Everybody can praise God post joy. Everybody can praise God post the lion deed. Everybody can praise God post the fire and furnace. Post prison. In other words, anybody can praise God after the fact. But there's something about a midway praise. There's something about a midnight praise. Because in the middle of a praise, we get God's attention and things begin to open. Joshua erect a pillar of stones in the midst of Jordan where the priest's foot stood firm on dry ground. What is this pillar of joy? Joshua. Well, Joshua glad you asked. What it means is that this is my going through praise. <laughs> I'm going through the worst trial of my life. But I'm going through it praising anyhow. I'm going through hell in my furnace. But I'm going to praise him anyway. I'm going through my valley shadow death. It means, but I'm going to praise him anyhow. I'm going through with my family, my job, and trying to store my ministry. But I'm going to praise him anyway. This is my testimony that God has been faithful. And somebody else, sometime, is going to pass this way. In the middle of their fine trial, they're going to look at your pillow of praise. And they're going to remind them how faithful God has been. It's going to tell them that someone else has passed this way before and they didn't drown. See, somebody going through what you went through and they didn't drown. It's going to let them know that somebody thought they were going to burn up. But They did because of your testimony. My brothers and sisters, even Paul, when he was in prison, and, and when he began to sing and praise, shout. The scripture didn't say that the prisoners joined in. It said they listened in. See, someone is listening to you. So, when you step into your miracle, you can't just stand there. You can't just stand there and let the devil figure out how he's going to snatch you out or out. You got to go ahead and praise your way through. I 
want you to come to your feet. And I want you to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, this praise is for you.
But Lord, we know, Lord, that whenever he hung, laid and died, laid in that throne for three days, Lord, he got up early on Sunday morning with all power in his hand. And because, Lord, he got up out of the grave, Lord, we know, Lord, that we can get up out of any situation we're in if we just believe. Father, we thank you, Lord, for all you can bless every home that brothers that are here today. Bless everyone that's listening in. This is my prayer, Jesus' name, my prayer. Now may the grace of our Lord Savior Jesus Christ rest on about against now forevermore. This is ourselves by saying.